What's happening, my people? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Let me put the light on here. Uh, we have a question from Bu, a VIP member. Hey, Tony, just prepping my Jeep for filler, primer, and paint. Just a few questions that, that may be of interest to other viewers. When do you use a primer sealer? I'm painting over some body mi minor body repairs in the original paint with a new color. So, guys, when you're thinking of primer, primer sealer, so there's something called filler primer, and if you reduce it down a little bit more, right, you can turn that into a sealer, which just smoothens it out a little bit, okay? Sometimes, well, they have specific sealers that you don't have to sand, and then you could just paint over. Um, and then there are sealers where, well, if you use a 2K primer sealer, okay, which is like a primer filler sealer, right, uh, it's recommended to sand it down before paint. You know, I always, I don't know, some sealers lay, flow on nice, but uh, I don't, I really, I like to do primer sealer and then sand it down with 400 to 600 grit wet make it really nice and then do my base coat and clear coat over that you know you could dry sand it as well it's really user preferences many ways to skin a cat here guys uh, but if you're going to follow somebody's techniques pick one person that you follow it could be my techniques or somebody else's out there or whatever just follow it from a to z and see what you like and then you could start coming up with your own shortcuts and your own techniques on all right well i'm going to start with 80 grit i'm going to go down to one fifth you know fill it primer it cut it down with like a 320 and then wet sand it with 400 or dry sand it with 400, right? It's basically what you want to do. Yeah, I've been doing this for, I would, for 20 years now, okay? Longer than 20 years, 23 years I've been doing auto body and paint. Painted my first motorcycle uh, when I was 13 years old, painted my first car when I was 15 years old. And I've been through a lot of, ways a lot of techniques i've seen other people do body work with other ways you know maybe finishing with 80 grit and then using a polyester filler primer to fill over that you know which clogs up your gun which is makes a mess it's another product you got to use right more money when all you have to do is instead of priming filler primer over you know, instead of filler primering with the polyester primer over 80 grit, which is super coarse, just take an extra little bit. It's only going to take a couple of seconds per body area, right, to get down to a 150 or 220 grit. Then you don't have to mix up that heavy crap, gunk up your spray guns, extra time in cleaning, extra material. You can just go straight to the 2K primer filler, which is what I like to do. Because I've used that stuff and I don't I just don't like it. I think it's it's an extra step. You know, some say it's a less extra step because you can just fill up all your imperfections and then cut it down, but you're still cutting down. You know, you're gonna cut down after or before. I like to cut down before, right? Come down after 80 grit is for shaping. 40 grit is for major shaping. Okay, major, you want to cut down some thick bondo or body filler in some areas. 80 grit is a good grit. I, I mostly, 90% of the time when I'm doing any kind of body work, I'm close to the lines already. So I don't need 40 grit to just take so much off, right? I'm using 80 grit to shape. After that, I'll finish with a 150 or 220. Either one. It doesn't make a real huge difference uh, for my final. And... Um, I put I lay my heavy coats of 2K primer, 2K filler primer right over that. And if you guys are looking for a good filler primer, I would highly recommend a product uh, from Tamco, which is the DTM High Build Primer. It's it's very very good stuff. Good materials they use, uh, the best of the best. Pretty much the same quality as as I mean Dupont or the higher uh, expensive brands that you're buying. You're getting it for less the cost too. And it's a very, very good product. This is for a one gallon kit. And this will last you, you know, a couple, you know, half a car or depends on the m amount of body work that you're doing. But a gallon can last you uh, a good handful of jobs if you're not doing a complete car, if you're not priming a complete car.
Okay, so you can get this stuff at Zula.com. Uh, I'll also have a link in the description if you're on uh, YouTube right now. Um, so, so yeah, so question number two. Question number two. So he's saying, I'm painting over some minor body repairs. So when do you use primer? So you use primer, okay, prime, 2K primer filler on body worked areas. If you're trying to cover up body filler, sand scratches, and you want to get everything smooth, that's where you prime. If you're working and you're doing a custom paint job or a car paint job you really care about, you really want it to come out nice, you would prime the whole thing. Okay, you would 2K prime the whole thing and then block it out, take your time, do a panel at a time to get it really perfecto. Then, you know, once that stage is done, you could do your glazing for the imperfections if there's anything left and then go, uh, you know, follow with your 400 grit wet sand or dry sand and then do your painting on top of that. This video is getting pretty long. Um, question number two, when spraying multiple coats of primer, base or clear, of course, you need to wait in between coats for product to flash. But when the product in the gun, will the product in the gun be okay to continue the next coat or you need to clean and refresh the gun for each coat? No, the product is good because when you're spraying primers or clears or bases, you're going to be done within two hours. And most, I mean, clear coat has a pot lifetime of six hours if it's covered. If air gets to it, it starts to dry. But if it's in a gun covered, you can leave it in there for a few hours, no problem, right? But you're constantly using it, so that's fine. Primer gets a little short on time, but you're not spending hours priming. When you prime up something, you're only spending a few minutes priming. If it's a whole car, then yeah, maybe you're spending a half hour priming, but that's pretty much it, okay? Then you could wash the gun and, and do it. Do your multiple coats and at the end. Okay, so that's that. In uh, number three, in many of your videos, when you're mixing your product with reducer, he's talking about produce. He's talking about base, base coat with reducer. You stir it up, then you pull your stick out to check the viscosity. Sometimes you add a little bit more reducer to get a better result. I, I'd i like to know more about this method for paint, clear coat, and the thicker primers. Uh, well, a general rule is just stick to the mixing ratio, okay? Base coat, most base coats are one to one. So if you got a cup of base coat, you wanna put about a cup of reducer. Okay, I like to just mix it up, pull the paint stick out on an angle, and I like to see the drips, you know, one, two, three. That timing that I just said is the perfect timing. One, two, three. If it's like one, two, three, it's too thick. If it's like one, two, three, it's way too thin, your base coat, okay? Uh, I don't usually do that with primer. Well, I kind of do. I kind of do. But primers, you want to make a little thicker. And of course, with primers, you're going to want to use a spray gun with a 1.8 uh, to a 2.0 tip size. And I don't recommend using the X27 for a uh, primer gun. I would use the X20 as a primer gun. A uh, little bit more you know, on the, on the cheaper side because primer guns take a beating. You know, and I would definitely get a, uh, you can get a 1.3 or 1.4 and then add on a tip kit, which is basically over here. Uh, if you end up getting the Atom Spray Guns, a tip kit's only $69.95 to $75, bucks, which is really cheap because you get the needle, air cap, and nozzle. You get the whole pack. You know, if you got a SADA Spray Gun or whatever, it would be like a few hundred bucks for this. So they make really good products here. All right, so hopefully this video helped. I know it got kind of long. He just had some uh, recommended uh, suggestions for me as well, but that's pretty much it. Oh, here is the truck he's working on. So he's working on a Jeep Wrangler, it looks like. He put in a new patch panel and welded it in, and it looks really good. You can't even tell. So what he would do is scuff up. His next step is to basically scuff up around here with 80 grit, okay? I would even go up here. You can treat this rusted spot, uh, grind this down actually, get it down to bare metal. Treat that with some vinegar water, okay? 50-50 mixture or so with uh, distilled vinegar, white vinegar. That'll kill the rust. Then basically wipe it off, scuff it, and you can lay some body filler right over this. And uh, if you can get to the backside with some undercoating, get to the backside with some undercoating there. Uh, and then you can lay some body filler over this and smoothen it out like a 150. 
Here, I would 80 grit around here. Do your body filler, shape it with 80, and then finish it with a 150 to 20 grit, and then prime the whole area. But I would make sure to have all of this DA'd with 220 as well, all in here. So when your overspray primer goes over, you'll fill it. You guys get what I'm saying? Okay, so that's basically it, guys. Uh, Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. I hope you liked the video. Give a quick like. Um, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you haven't. And uh, also, don't forget to click the button right over here uh, to grab your free 85-page auto body and paint manual. And it looks like this over here. Right over here. You just put your email in. Click download. Right? And uh, we'll send you that manual. And uh, don't forget to also check out Learn Auto Body VIP. Helping people customize and redo their projects since back in 2010. Pretty cool stuff. We have tens of thousands of members across the world. Look at the projects they're completing just by going through our online program. Check this out. A little Chevelle project, not Chevelle, Camaro project there. Some classics. Look at this beater to that gorgeous truck back there. Look at this before and after. These are all of our VIP members taking action and, uh, and getting things done. Look at this BMW. And this is just one one hundredth of the images that we get. I should update this from Facebook and like this will be filled up with thousands of pictures. But I can't to put too much on here because it'll slow the website down. Uh, anyway, guys, Tony here. Ch check out VIP as well. Learn Auto Body VIP. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.